This can only be described as a huge embarrassing failure. There's just no other way to describe it. We are living in an era where live sports are extremely valuable to television networks. You can make a strong case that live sports have never been more valuable to the networks. Regular season ratings for the NFL, up. Ratings for the WNBA dump, up. Now, just to be clear, when I say ratings have increased for the dump, their ratings went from nothing to almost nothing. It is the equivalent of saying that CNN has increased their ratings. It is easy to increase the size of your audience when your audience is being measured in dozens. But even though it's early in the season, ratings for Major League Baseball, they have slightly increased compared to last season. The NWSL is growing. They went from having ratings that were so low they couldn't be measured to pulling 100, 150,000 viewers on ESPN2. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. College basketball was a success this season on both the men's and the women's side. Now, of course, the success on the women's side, that success is temporary. But they did have record-breaking success nonetheless. The WWE is in the midst of a period of growth. In terms of sports and live entertainment, everyone seems to be growing. Everyone except the NBA. A couple of months ago, the league announced that they were extending the contract of NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. When they made this announcement, I could not believe it. How in the hell are you going to extend the contract of Captain Doofus? How are you going to lock your league in for the next decade with the dude who is without a doubt the worst commissioner in sports? There is no debating this point. This is not up for discussion. If you don't believe Alice is the worst commissioner in sports, let's go ahead and review some of his accomplishments. Since 2012, NBA lost damn near half its audience on television. Past four NBA finals have been the least watched in the history of the league. Two of those four series involve the two biggest stars in the league, LeBron James and Steph Curry. Three or four years ago, I told you guys LeBron James would be the first face of the NBA to leave the league in worse shape than it was in when he came into the NBA in 2003. When LeBron came into the league, the NBA was at its lowest point in decades. Alice Silver handed LeBron the woke shovel and he proceeded to bury it even further. Under the leadership of Adam Silver, The All-Star Game has become a complete joke. The last three years, ratings for the regular season have been near record lows. This year, ratings on network television, which for those that don't know, network television is the broadcast networks, ABC, CBS, NBC. In the NBA's case, that would be ABC. NBA ratings on ABC this season, record lows. The NBA averaged 1.6 million viewers on ESPN, TNT, and ABC. That represents the lowest ratings in three years and one of the lowest ratings in league history. Christmas Day, supposedly the biggest day of the NBA regular season. Ratings for Christmas Day this year, record lows, 2.9 million viewers. Well, KC, that's because they were competing with the NFL. Yeah, yeah, guess what? They will be competing with the NFL again this year and probably every year going forward. Because Roger Goodell, it seems like he has made it his personal mission to completely emasculate Adam Silver in the NBA every year on the biggest day of their regular season. Now, if you remove the numbers for Christmas Day, the NBA averaged 1.1 million viewers throughout the regular season. How else would you describe it? This is the very definition of huge embarrassing failure. And you mean to tell me you extended the contract of the man named Alice who put you in this position? Someone please make it make sense. To make matters worse, the networks, they are hesitant to enter into another agreement with the NBA for their broadcast rights. Remember last year when the president of TNT or... Warner, Discovery, whatever the fuck. Remember when he said, TNT will be just fine without the NBA. We do not need the NBA. Remember when he said that? That was not hyperbole. 
He meant what he said. According to CNBC, both ESPN and TNT, they are allowing their exclusive rights to negotiate terms with the NBA to expire. It expires on Monday. Since both networks have current deals with the league, they're given several months to negotiate with the NBA before other networks or streaming services can get involved. This gives them the opportunity to prevent a bidding war. Clearly, they're not worried about a bidding war because I highly doubt anyone is willing to pay $24 billion for access to a million viewers. Negotiation for the league's broadcast rights. This could be an embarrassment for the NBA. The league does not have any leverage here. Ten years ago, when they negotiated their last deal, Adam Silver, he had plenty of leverage. LeBron James and Steph Curry, they were in the prime of their careers. The rivalry between LeBron and the Rainbow Warriors, it was just getting started. Kevin Durant was in his prime, and he was universally liked and respected at the time. Russell Westbrook was averaging triple doubles every night. This was before he started moonlighting as a dress model for Lululemon. Dwayne Wade, a young Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, Dirk in Dallas, the dynasty in San Antonio. During the 2013 season, the NBA was averaging almost 4 million viewers on ABC, nearly 2 million on TNT. 2015 NBA Finals, almost 20 million viewers. All-Star Game at that point was still valuable. Going into these negotiations, Adam Silver, He has absolutely nothing to sell of value to the networks. What the hell is he selling here? Hey guys, it's me, Alice. I can deliver one million viewers. I can deliver six months of negative publicity. Seriously, think about it. When is the last time the NBA has seen positive publicity? When is the last time you have seen a story about the NBA that wasn't overwhelmingly negative? Public perception of this league is at an all-time low. And Adam Silver wants $24 billion? There are so many problems in the NBA, problems that Adam Silver refuses to address. For starters... The players have all the power. Name another business in this country where the employees are telling the employers what they are going to do. There is no accountability because no one respects, no one is afraid of Adam Silver. Case in point, Draymond Green. After punching Yusuf Nurkic in the face, trying to put the sleeper hold on Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, he should have been kicked out of the league at minimum. He should have been suspended for the season. What does Alice do? It's okay, Dre Dre. You just need sensitivity training. Yesterday, one of my friends gave me a call. He is a highly respected coach. He tells me, quit worrying about the Pelicans because the NBA is rigged. A lot of people are believing this conspiracy theory after what happened Tuesday night to Zion Williamson. Throughout the season, there have been accusations that NBA games are being fixed. What does Adam Silver do about it? He bans Jonte Porter for life. Now, in his defense, that was the right decision. You can't have active players betting on themselves to not perform. But let me ask you something. Where is the investigation into NBA officials? Because the officials, they are the most vulnerable. There are 13 people on an NBA court during a game. The three people making the least amount of money are the officials. The NBA has developed this reputation of being similar to the WWE. And the commissioner who allowed this perception to gain traction is given a multi-year contract extension. The NBA also has a marketing problem. How long have I been saying the NBA needs to move past LeBron James and Steph Curry and focus on building new stars? How long have I been saying that? Two years? Three years? The playoffs start this weekend. It seems like no one cares. The WNBA has received more mainstream media coverage this week than the NBA. Just think about that. Right now, The WNBA has the biggest star in basketball. When I open my news feed, I am bombarded with stories about Caitlin Clark. I see stories about Angel Reese. I have got to scroll through a couple of pages before I see the first story about the NBA. The biggest star in the league, LeBron James. He is about to be applying for Social Security. What are they going to do when LeBron retires? Who is on deck to carry the NBA for the next decade? 
The mainstream media, they have all but destroyed the appeal of Zion Williamson. Yes, Zion wasted time not taking his craft seriously. Zion has a long history with injuries, but he was healthy all season this season. When Zion is on the court, he is arguably the most dynamic player in the league. But when the casual fan thinks of Zion Williamson, they think of him being fat. They think of him being out of shape. They think of him not caring. Who created all these narratives? The NBA's primary broadcast partner, the worldwide leader in woke, ESPN. Now, the good news is, some of these problems in the NBA are fixable. For starters, if I'm Adam Silver, I am using this opportunity to get as far away from ESPN as possible. This league is in desperate need for a quality broadcast partner. The TNT crew, they're entertaining, but... Shaq and Charles Barkley, they don't know anything about the modern NBA because they don't watch it. At least they're entertaining, though, because there is absolutely nothing entertaining about ESPN's coverage of the NBA. Outside of J.J. Redick and Tim Legler, ESPN's coverage of the NBA, it is Trash. I can't even call it a polished turd. It is a steaming ass fire. Kendrick Perkins is basing MVP votes on race. Stephen A. Smith, he is complimenting players who haven't played in months. Shannon Sharp, hey, it's me, Shay Shay. The grown man who calls himself Shay, he has replaced Skip Bayless as ESPN's primary obsession with LeBron James. My entire life, I have been thinking that goats were named Billy, Shea calls his goat James. This league needs to distance themselves from ESPN. And Adam Silver, he has got to find a way to make games more accessible. One of the biggest problems right now in the NBA, fans don't have access to their local teams. Are you living in New Orleans and you want to watch the Pelicans? Your only option is paying $20, $25 a month for access to a Bally Sports app that rarely works. Can't watch the games on NBA League Pass because they're blacked out. What kind of sense does that make? Someone is willing to pay $200 to watch their local NBA team and the league blacks out the games? David Stern handed Adam Silver the Golden Goose, and within 10 years, Adam Silver has turned the golden goose into the polished turd. I am convinced Adam Silver, he has no idea what the hell he's doing. Now, the media loves him. Adam is swell. He's a nice guy. He's so sweet. <sighs> yeah, um, I'm sure Adam Silver's a nice guy. Adam Silver would make a great neighbor. When you're out of town, he's coming over to cut your grass. Storm knocks down a tree and it's blocking your driveway. Adam Silver, he's coming next door with a chainsaw. Scruffy gets out of the backyard. Adam Silver, he's chasing after him. I'm sure he's a great guy, but the problem with nice guys, they often make poor leaders. People don't respect them. The NBA has the same problem that my Saints have right now in New Orleans. You have a private in the position of a general. You have followers and leadership positions. That will never work. It starts at the top. The problems in this league, they are not going to be resolved until you can find a commissioner who is capable of solving them. But give me your thoughts. Another season of near record low ratings in the NBA, and in some cases, record low ratings. This league is a disaster, which happens when you lack leadership. Now, the media, they will claim it's a lack of star power, and that is definitely part of it. But in my opinion... The biggest problem is the lack of leadership, and it starts at the top. Outside of Adam Silver, what do you think the biggest problem is right now in the NBA? How would you solve the issues facing the league? Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.